Hi, and welcome to the Fabric Studio. Today we're going to take a look at our top level folders and see um, what is important in each one that you'll need to know about. Now the first one is your file folder, and the most important um, thing you'll be using most often is if you want to make a custom size. By clicking on, it will bring up a new box. You can change and play around with your resolution, and you can also change and play around with your sizes. So we're going to cancel out of this and take a look what else is in the file folder. The other thing that's unique to the software is under templates. We have a um, group of templates you can use to dis design your own um, layouts you want, and these are great to work with if you want to create your own um, sheet designs. Now, um, some other things that are in here uh, is where you save your files and open um, existing files. Now, the next one is the edit box, and before we can take a look at the edit box, we need to open an image and do something with that image. So I'm going to just put some text in um, for a second and then we'll see some of the functions of the edit box. Now if we open the edit box you can undo, you can co copy, you can erase, and one of the ones that we use a lot is the um, invert selection. So um, that is one of the ones we use a lot when we go ahead and use the photos and the memory blocks. I'm going to click out of that. Now the next thing is the view. So um, one of the most important things on the view, you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, is to make sure you have a ruler open. I just clicked on ruler so it uh, made my ruler disappear. And if you look now you can see your rulers. And the other thing that's important under rulers is you can pick pixels, inches, and centimeters. And I usually set it to inches. The next thing we're going to look at is our library. Now, these um, are the 12 original libraries on the deluxe version. If you know the name of the, what you're looking for, all you need to do is click on color, and if, let's say, I wanted to look at blue plaid, I click on it and it brings forth that image. But if I don't know what I'm looking for, you're going to have to go back and access your images. Let's go back to stripes and take a look at what stripe we would, might want to open, the same stripe in brown plaid. And that's um, if you don't know what you're looking for. So that's how you access those images. Now, under image, um, the box um, and tool I use the most is resize. It's here where you can change the resolution of your photograph. Um, you can resize your images, maintain your aspect ratio. That's real important with the Fabric Studio. Also under image, is the ability to rotate. So let's take a look at an image that we've already opened. And if you want to take that image and rotate it 90 degrees or 180 degrees, you can right within this um, program. Also under image, um, you can flip vertical, horizontal. And canvas size comes into play when you're um, working with a single object. And we'll go over that in one of our other lessons. Now the next thing is the layer box. Now if you want to add a layer, um, by clicking on that it adds a new layer in the layer box. But the icons down below here will do just the same thing. So take a look at the layer box and you'll see all kinds of different things you can do with it. The adjustment. The adjustment is basically used for photos. Um, but if you wanted to click on levels and you wanted to make the image that you have out here a little darker, you can see how it's changing with using just the levels. Um, the pattern box is pretty self-explanatory. It um, is the same as the pattern box to the right. But if you wanted to see how it works, just click on and um, you will get a good idea. Windows, um, we already talked about that in our first. Um, you can click on if you want your history. You can go back into Windows and click off if you don't want your history. And help is very important. So if you want to print out any of the um, detailed instructions, um, it will open up Adobe Acrobat, and then you can print out um, the various things. Now that's the top uh, level folders. Take a look at them. There's a lot more in them, but 
that should give you a pretty good indication of what's contained within.